And why don't the Democrats want to know how many citizens are in the country? Go ask any person anywhere across this country, walking down the street, walk up to them and say, hey, do you think on the census we should ask how many citizens are in the country or ask, are you a citizen? Every single person you will encounter will say, well, yeah, of course we should ask that. Their next question will be, aren't we doing that already? And of course, we would all have to answer, yes, we are. We've been doing it for decades, doing it on the 10-year census, doing it on the American Survey annual census. Why don't they want to know? It's a question the United, United Nations recommends as a best practice. It's a question asked in numerous other countries. How do we get here today? How do we get to the point today where we're going to hold the Secretary of Commerce, the Attorney General of the United States, in contempt because we don't want to ask a question that everyone in the country thinks we're already asking, and in fact, we are? That's the bottom line. You, you, can, you can do all this, uh, the letters back and forth, negotiations back and forth, and I'm all for getting information. You can do all that. But when you boil it all down, it's a fundamental question. Why don't they want to know? Why don't they want to know? Democrats know it. Here's the other thing they know. Democrats know the Supreme Court will rule by the end of this month on the citizenship question. But they hope to use this committee's oversight power to create a controversy around this issue, try to impact the court's decision. To that end, the Democrats now want to hold, as I said, both the Secretary of Commerce and the Attorney General in contempt because of an alleged lack of cooperation with the Democrats' request for information. Facts stand in stark contrast to the Democrats' claims that they are not getting information from the agencies. The Trump administration has cooperated, continues to cooperate with the chairman in this, I believe, partisan investigation. The administration has produced not 17,000, 31,000 pages of documents, 14,000 from Commerce, 17,000 from Justice, relating to this question the citizenship question. Secretary Ross sat here for six hours, answered all kinds of questions. Several administration witnesses have uh, voluntarily participated in day-long transcribed interviews, providing information at the heart of the chairman's partisan investigation. In fact, just yesterday, transcribed interview with a former Commerce official. This interview lasted nearly the entire day. The committee has two more transcribed interviews scheduled in the next week. The idea that the administration is stonewalling this investigation, even in the chairman's words, engage in a cover-up from the, quote, top, is just ridiculous and doesn't jive with the facts. Contempt of Congress is a powerful tool, and it should be used responsibly. This is just another last-ditch attempt by the Democrats to muddy the waters around the citizenship question in a desperate hope that it will influence the Supreme Court's consideration of this issue, instead of considering legislation about the question itself, something we can do, something we've been doing year after year, decade after decade, the Democrats are choosing to use their oversight authority to interfere with the Supreme Court. It's not what we should be doing. I urge members to vote against this. And again, remind everyone here, why don't they want to know? Why don't they want to know something that every Everyone in our district knows should be asked, knows has been asked, is just good common sense. I, I, would, say, I would say you can talk, it doesn't matter, Republicans, Democrats, independent. you go talk. The only people who don't want to ask the question, Democrats around the country do, Republicans around the country do, independents around the country do. The only ones who don't want to ask the question, Democrats in Washington. 